Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. Now, if you haven't already known, there will be a bunch of freebies coming in like, I think like the next week or something like that for the Lunar New Year celebrations. And thankfully, there is going to be a legendary Abilimon amongst the rest of the rewards. So pretty hype. Anyway, for today's video, I am going to talk a little bit more about the Temporal Tower. And of course, this is not going to be like heavy duty Temporal Tower content. But what I want to showcase is using a bunch of Espers that... <laughs> I've basically played this game for like one week or like even less than a week, maybe like five days. And I have a bunch of extremely pay to win espers. And this is the difference between having the right espers versus having an account that is just like very well built on relics. So as you can see, these are the espers. My relics are kind of garbage. So I'm using the white twin as well on the DPS set. And I'm using Unas, who is somehow I just managed to make him super fast. I think this is pretty fast as a five day old player. And I also have Nusi over here, which is like also pretty fast. I got super lucky by the way. And a Sienna who is not super fast, but she is still rather reliable. Of course, I should increase her accuracy a little bit as well, which I think I'm just gonna do it right now. And now we can start. Okay, so I have 61% accuracy, which is a lot better and now we are on temporal tower level 10 and yes i did complete the entire spatial tower because i have extremely broken aspers i get it okay i get it so we're gonna start with unas with the ap push and i want to show you a very 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 disgusting combo with nusi here so take a look at this right sienna uses all her skills just throws everything out there okay and then now maybe we just land some aoe stuns aoe slow and after this defense break, now we have the turn for Nusi to come around again. And this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my second skill on Sienna here, who has four turns of each of her cooldowns. Use it on her, she gets her freaking turn again with... I mean, the turn is pretty advantageous, but the main thing is that her cooldowns are completely reset. <laughs> so we can just spam this. Which is, it, this is incredible, right? This is incredible. And this is the reason why I can clear Special Tower 100 within less than a week of playing. <laughs> Yes, I am farming one of the harder difficulties of Kronos right now. In fact, I'm doing Kronos 12. I feel like I can do Kronos uh, 13, but I just haven't gotten around to do it just yet. So there you go, the power of broken Aspers in a nutshell. <laughs> so freaking broken. Obviously, I would prefer her on the Zeus set, but just, just because I've been doing Kronos for like the bulk of my time, I, <laughs> I just do not do anything else apart from Kronos. So I have to make do with like the Windwalker relics that I have right now. Look at Nusi, dude, so broken. The enemies are just using their normal attacks. This is incredibly broken. Incredibly freaking broken. And now Sienna comes around, throws everything again. <laughs> Massive. Oh, would you look at that? How convenient. <laughs> and take a look at this, right? Because I have four stacks of the paper, paper doll, whatever you call it. Paper talisman. Take a look at this. With my normal attack, AP reductions galore. And now on to the boss wave. So I know a lot of guys are even like struggling on Temporal Tower 10. Right, for some of you guys who have been playing for like 2 months, you might not even be able to complete Temporal Tower 10. <laughs> and for me, it's just one week. And yes, we do have some extra stamina packs that we could have used uh, to bolster our farming. But apart from that, right, everything is just down to the aspers that we have. It's just because we have uber insane aspers like this. That we, we're, we're not even worried about getting hit. I mean, yes, if we do get hit, we're going to get screwed. But we don't even need to be worried about getting hit because there's so much AP control here. There is just so much of everything happening here. It's... Unbelievable. The power of the right espers, basically. And honestly, the white twin is such a good esper to have. Such a brilliant esper to have with like this entire setup because the white twin has a lot of AP controls as well. He has a lot of debuff lengthening right on his third skill here, right? Extends all their debuffs by one turn. So crazy. But damn, we are completely just blitzing through this. Like it's like freaking easy content. Like it's freaking easy. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if you can complete the entire temporal tower because we just need enough accuracy, which we do have. We just need enough speed, which we also do have. And we just need all the AP controls, which we definitely have. And that's it. That's basically it. We are done with Temporal Tower 10 and we can, we can move on all the way. <laughs> so for the 15th floor, because they have a lot of Infernal Aspers, it is a little bit risky for me to run uh, Sienna. And on top of that, right, whenever they are stunned, they will increase all of their AP, which could be a problem for us. I think I should run my Jiangman and these are the stats on her, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Classic beginner relics. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are just going to the same thing, right? Same thing, just reset their cooldowns. Very nice, very good reset. And I'm gonna try to gamble a stun here, even though that increases their AP. But ideally, yeah, ideally I want I just want to get like these two guys stunned and out of the way. But you know what? I failed. So that's a problem with this stage over here with the, the stun control, right? 
but no problem. I feel like the Jiangman is going to do a lot for us because she her silence debuff doesn't technically count as it doesn't technically count as a control. So that means that silence is actually quite powerful over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to reset my Unas here so that he can push our AP a little bit sooner and maybe get rid of the Hengue. Very nice. That's it. And now we push our AP and we can just normal attack. And I think we should not have wasted our <laughs> our cooldowns just like that. Oh my god, major rip. Unas is not going to have any skills. <laughs> oh no. But no problem, we can still reset their cooldowns again. And I mean, even if we screw up, we can always just try this again, right? It doesn't really matter. So another thing really nice about her is that she also gives my entire team with the speed up buff for two turns, which is very, very, very helpful. Especially since we do not have Sienna for the speed up buff, we still have her. And because my white twin is not at R6 just yet, he is only going to grant himself speed up. So there is that. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, let's go. Boom. Nice. Very nice. Okay, we lose our... We lose our white twin, unfortunately. I still feel like we can beat this regardless. Oh no! Okay, let's do this one more time. We managed to survive somehow. So let's reset all their cooldowns and we need to be careful not to land any stuns. I think that's the main thing. Because I, I, I did realize that uh, landing stuns is actually very detrimental to our run because yeah, their AP just goes up like crazy. So I'm not going to do this. I'm actually going to use my first skill to absorb AP instead. Oh, miss. Right, that works. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, rip. Mega rip. Okay, this sucks. Okay, so I guess I have to try it again with my Jiangman. Rain. Rain fire, Jiangman. Okay, and now I guess I try to take out maybe this guy here. I guess I have to... I really want to use my third skill, but you know what? This will have to do. AP reduction, very nice! Very good AP reduction! Fantastic! Very nice, pop this! Oh wow! <laughs> we're actually doing it! <laughs> oh my god, we're actually doing it! This is huge! This is huge! Oh my god, we're doing it! I know some of you guys are like, why is Daddy Free to Play even surprised? He has like the best espers. I am surprised because I... <laughs> I am only like less than a week old on this account. What am I missing in my main account? I mean, honestly, at, at this point, right? At this point, what's the point of me playing my main account when I have an insanely broken account over here? <laughs> Let's go, Nusi! Not OP at all. Incredibly balanced. Wow, nice! Temporal Tower 15, done! Alright, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. If you did, don't forget to a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now that's it, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And so I will see you in the next video.